investigation will check in with you uh, later on throughout the day. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Okay. Thanks, bye. So there you have it. The alerts came in around 8 o'clock. Everybody wondering, full well, bus flooding the, the newsroom. The fire um, let's go take a look ball. at the Hope Agency's Twitter die, account. Man. Right there, you can see it on the screen. Nine minutes ago, posted no missile threat to Hawaii. You can see a lot of people already commenting. Nine minutes ago, 4.5 thousand shares on this. Everybody wondering what was happening when that message came out like we said the newsroom oh, phones real, going man. off we heard people you running into be. shelters uh as well we do have our cameras outside right, somebody got to be held accountable has to get to the bottom shit. of this yeah and it's it's good to know that everyone is on their phone and the alert happened so fast that the reactions actually happening even even faster be, be uh, but it's always good to so hear uh, some of the responses to ask the the questions and it's nice that we can uh, confidently tell you that that was a mistake and Vern and his crew are going to get to the bottom of this. But the best yeah, thing to know is you do want to take shelter, right? Go inside. I know some people were freaking out and, you know, texting us and calling us wondering what to do in this case. Get inside, right? And take shelter wherever you can. And that's the thing. We've been, we've been reporting on this. And so we've been reporting the sirens and the testing. There was no sirens. Right. There was just the alert that came out on the phone. No sirens. So maybe both together next time would be more confirmation but we've been reporting on it and the the people obviously have known let's take a look at another full screen here this is another uh this is what came out and hawaii is this is a false alarm there is no incoming missile the alert was sent out inadvertently tweet from tulsi gabbard this is what we're looking at and tulsi gabbard of course making sure Why everyone in here alerts so if you tulsi are getting the news and maybe not everybody's watching the news right now Retweet it, send it out so everybody else knows we'll be on social media as well. We do have a crew on their way to Diamond Head, to the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency station, so we can get to the bottom of it as they do as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it was a, a quick alert that went out immediately after our morning show and our responses were to call our loved ones and I'm sure everyone else's responses were to call our loved, their loved ones aside from the newsroom to get uh, the, to answer the questions uh, but it's safe to say again you know this is a drill and the fast the quick responses on social media from Representative Tulsi Gabbard to say this is not real this is a mistake and to hear Vern to confirm with us that they're get, gonna get down to the bottom of this because like you asked her for a lot of people can they trust the the safety system after this we'll see what's to come they have to get to the bottom of this of course this is one of the most important messages that you're ever gonna get on your phone on the alert because this one you only got 10 to 12 minutes from the time that you get that message to get inside to get inside of a building and shelter and wait for that missile to come if it if it does in this case a lot of people were worried about it and so it's good that Vern confirmed there is no missile. It was an inadvertent alert.